ring number two from view circle ci enter center of the circle zero enter diameter 17 mil hold shift and then enter shift is to be straight uh, now we need a second circle so i can right click to redo the last command zero and here i can just eyeball it i'm going to hold shift and uh, yeah make it a little bit bigger like this then the second one using the gumball i'm going to move it up press alt so it doesn't know snap and somewhere here so as you can tell this is roughly one mil maybe 1.2 we could measure like go dim uh, i could have also draw a line and and look you know yeah one 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 two so it's roughly this i could have drawn also a line like this and type 1.2 mil shift enter and then we know that it's straight so when i draw i could make sure that this spacing is 1.2 many ways if you need to measure but here we're just having fun so i roughly know how big it is to make curves 3d and those curves could come out of illustrator they don't have to be rhino curve um, we select the curve and we use a command called extrude crv extrude curve that's like 2d to 3d it's like an extrusion or an elevation here we want solid because we want a result to be a closed solid we want both sides on, so it goes both sides. And we could type a dimension, but here I'm just going to eyeball it. Because anyway, we're going we're gonna to cut this ring. So I'll make it a little bit wide, like this. Uh, that might be a hair too wide, but that's okay. I'll get rid of this circle. We don't really need it. So I could go hide to hide it, show to show it again. Or I could just press delete, and it'll be gone. The inside one also I get rid of. So here, and this time I'll just go delete. This means you have two objects. So he wants to know which one to select, the curve or the 3D object. The curve, delete. Now I want to cut this ring from the side. So I'm going to use a plane, a flat plane. This is what we call a surface because it's flat. It's paper thin compared to a solid. A surface, usually it's hollow, but here it's... This is like a patch. It's a piece of a surface. Um, and I'll rotate this. You could type minus three degree or two degree or plus here it's positive. Uh, but you could also just freehand do it using all so it's not all snapping. And then move it to place. So this is pretty good actually. So I need another one so I'll go mirror zero or shift voilà. that's a little bit straighter than i thought um, the flange is pretty big um, let's fix this i'm going to delete this one and i'm going to scale just on that axis and i'm going to hold alt so it doesn't have stop voilà, that's better move this back just a hair Voilà. here press alt so it doesn't know snap and we want to stop just at the edge and have a little bit of space here good so mirror mi zero enter hold shift and this is better looking now i'm going to use those two planes as trimming like a knife as cutting plane so i'm going to use the right view type trim enter Cutting object, it's those two, the blade, enter, what to trim. So click on what you don't want. So this part and this part, enter. So now I can delete my plane. I don't need them anymore. And now we can see that our solid became, became a surface. It's hollow inside. So this is two patch that could become a surface. So to cap this, we can just go use a command called planar surf planar surface select one edge the other edge enter and it would fill it you could mirror that or you could just redo it either way works 
So now we've got four patches, and if we want this to become a solid, we select all of them and we go join. If one day we want to go back, it's explode. But now we want a solid. And now I'm going to do a fillet edge. So if I was to use, let's say, 0.1 everywhere, let's try this. It might actually work. Yeah, because it's so tiny. But you can barely see it. This is very important, especially you're going to do a rendering. So what I can do, I can increase this to maybe 0.65, let's try that. And now it's getting a bit bigger, still quite small. And you see it's breaking, because here there's enough room to do a 0.6 mil, but not here. So what we're going to do, we're going to undo. And now I'm going to teach you something new. We can go fillet edge, keep the 0.6, because on the top here it's good. Here it's good, but here it's not. So we're going to select all of those edges like this. But now here I want different, I want a multiple radius. So I'm going to go enter to see the preview. And while in preview, I can add handle. So I can click add handle and he wants to know the new diameter. So here I'll go much smaller, uh, 0.3, half. And then I'll tell him where to put them. So I'm going to click here here, here, and here. So now if we look, we're going to have a fillet of 0.65 here and there, here and there, and here they're going to morph into smaller ones. So enter, enter. Voila. So it's much more pretty. And that's it. We could do more, but that's a, that's a good start. Uh, voila.